What's up, squad? It's your boy Trey back again. Thanks for dropping by the Daddy C channel. Um, if it's your first time here, do me a quick favor. Hit that notification bell uh, down below so you can stay on top of our content as we drop it. And if you're been here before, thanks for coming back and rocking with us. We appreciate all the love, support. Um, just you know, stick with the channel, just vibing out with our content, conversations here on YouTube and across the platforms, IG, TikTok, and all that stuff. Um, so yeah, man, thanks for hanging with us. Today, we got a special one, hot off the press. The pack just landed um, today, and we are talking about the Nike SB Dunk Low Pro Quick Strike Tight Boot. Now, this is a shoe, I'm not a skateboarder. I mean, I'm, I'm built for, you know, built for short bursts, not for jumps and lands and all that kind of stuff, right? But uh, <laughs> I'm not, not a skateboarder, and honestly didn't know who Tight Boot was prior to this drop. Um, but now I know and this is the shoe That just released we here in November the shoe just dropped last week out off the presses And I really am impressed with the shoe. I mean, it's a different different design And you know initial reactions I've heard some people say it's like, you know the pandas big brother or the panda's cousin, but I'm like, nah, man, this is way better. Everything that's black and white is not just the panda, right? Um, <laughs> but a little background on Tight Booth before we get into the shoe and the design and the aesthetic. Tight Booth is a skate brand that was launched in Japan in 2005 by Shinpei Ueno. Now, I'm, I'm not 100% sure I'm saying that, pronouncing that correctly, but in any event, Shinpei, I know that first part is right. Um, you know, is a they call him quick footed, you know, his style of skating. It's like quick foot, you know, whatever he does, his style. I haven't really looked checked him out yet. If you know him, drop down in the comments, tell me a little bit about him. Um, but yeah, Shinpei is known for his different kind of style and his tight boots brand, his crew, the people that he skates with, um, the shoe and, and their whole aesthetic is really geared towards the nighttime and nightlife skating across the streets of Japan. So pretty cool, you know, these guys are skating at nighttime and that's why you got the black and white hits along the shoe itself. And then the situation that they have the, the embossed, you know, markings on the white leather are kind of reminiscent supposedly of the grates along the streets of Japan, right? And you got the black obviously representing the night and the white representing, I guess just the night lights, so to speak. And then the cool thing that the swoosh is actually covered in a 3M. So that 3M, you know, kind of glows at night. If you're doing some night skating, somebody hits it with some headlights, you know, you get that shine that, you know, that pops out. Um, and then you've got, you know, suede along these black panels, leather along the white. And then on the tongue, you got white laces. The tongue is branded with the tight boots along the side here, as well as on the back of the tongue. And you've got this orange, inner lining on the back of the tongue as well. I know that was a little controversy when early pairs were coming out. Um, <laughs> and uh, this is straight from the sneakers app, you know, a, again, a week or so ago. Inside the shoe, you've got the inner lining it, insole that is that orange, bright orange, and uh, has a tight boot branding along that as well. Black midsole, white outsole, with a little bit of orange underneath. And then they even give you this little orange tag that kind of reminiscent of like the off-white tag um, that just has the tight boot branding on it, which is cool. And then again, on the back side of the shoe, you've got the Nike you know, logo branding on the back and a different type of font than we used to see in actually. It's just a little more block. And I think that actually has 3M on it as well. Uh, and honestly, I think also on the tongue, these dots that are there are 3M. So really cool, really cool, really cool shoe. Um, laces, they do give you white laces come inside and then you've got a black and orange laces as well, which is nice. Just an overall cool shoe. I will say, you know, for an SB, you know, I'm hearing that this shoe snug, it's, it's kind of snug to your toes. So if you don't have it already and you're looking to get a pair, you may want to go up a half size because this leather, the white leather is really stiff. You look at it, it's a, you know, it's hard. Usually we get this soft suede, um, that type of thing that's really, you know, more, just more flexible, where this is a little more stiff. 
And of course, in here with the Nike SB, you get the elastic bands that keep your foot in place. Really what that's for is people that are skateboarders, you know that <laughs> I've heard that people can pop laces while they're skating. So if your laces pop, then that keeps your shoe still on your foot. So you're not rolling out here with no laces and your shoe flip-flopping because that can be pretty dangerous while you're riding skateboards and jumping and doing kick flips and all those types of things, right? As far as the insole goes, we got this tight booth insole here. Got your traditional, your memory foam, your zoom pouch, of course, in the back. So this is all SB, right? This is what they give us on the SB tip. And yeah, so that's the shoe overall. I will say, you know, got some other videos we're gonna be dropping real soon. Just been kind of on an SB tear recently. So got a, a few SBs to drop on the channel. Um, just been busy, just been busy. You know, some things been backed up. But we got some things coming. Let me know what y'all think about the, the SB tight booth. Um, yeah, let me know what you think of the design, the aesthetic. I think it's pretty dope. I think, you know, it's, again, not a panda. Of course, we've seen black and white, but black and white kind of, it rocks, right? It goes, it's easier to style. Um, this is more white on it probably than most of the shoes that I own. So I think you can't really just go throw this on with anything. You still gotta do something different with this as far as styling goes. Um, but overall, I think it's a dope shoe. Let me know if you copped a pair, if you're thinking of copping a pair. Again, I would probably go up a half size you know, had I known, but I rock with it. It's still my size, a true size 11. Um, rating wise, I'd probably give this shoe, you know, eight, eight and a half. It's not the greatest shoe ever, but I think it's cool, different design, um, different color blocking, and you get some different touches. So you get the tight boot on the tongue, which is not typically done on your SBs, right? And this little tag on the side is cool, cool little touch as well. And along with the 3M swoosh, so, that's it, man. You know, nightlife, street skating in Japan. Cool story. I love Nike SB because they're just very creative. And the thing that they bring to sneakers is for, you know, non-skaters like myself, man, to be able to appreciate some of the things about skate culture that I normally wouldn't be exposed to. Um, and then again, the shoes are just very creative design, man. And like materials and the colorways and things like that. You know, I've got tons of Jordans, but how many times, how many ways do you remix? you know, Jordan 1 through 13, which is kind of really what I wear. So that's where I'm at. Let me know what y'all think. See you on the Instagrams and the TikToks and YouTube little world. Thanks for hanging out, y'all. Peace.